Alright, welcome back friends. So today we are going to do things a bit different here. Today I want to talk about why you should start painting. And if you already are an avid sketcher or painter, why well, it's even more amazing than you thought. And along with that, you can watch me paint one of my oil paintings, from start to finish. So without further ado, here are some reasons why you might want to pick up a brush or a pencil by the end of this video. Number 1. Because you can. Some people are good at sports. There are a selected few even so good that they are professional athletes. But then there are millions who are neither, but still enjoy engaging in all kinds of sports in their free time. So why can't it be the same for drawing and painting? What keeps people from picking up these skills and enjoying the real world benefits that come with it? For centuries, the ability to draw and paint has been considered a gift. You either have it or you don't. Most people would say about themselves that they can't draw and don't have any talent. But whenever people say this, what they actually mean is that their drawings or paintings aren't realistic. Or that they can't draw or paint like Da Vinci or Rembrandt. But that isn't really surprising, is it? Because how could they? These artists have spent lifetimes learning and perfecting their craft. They have spent hundreds of hours learning and training the skills you need to draw and paint. But the crucial thing to point out here is, they learned it. They didn't come to this world with the gift of painting a masterpiece. Like learning a new language, or playing an instrument, or learning any other new skill for that matter, painting and drawing can be learned. It's not easy and the next Da Vinci isn't born overnight, but that also shouldn't be surprising. Because just like how we can't learn a language overnight, learning to draw and paint also takes time. But just like learning to play an instrument, every time you learn something new, or you exercise what you already know, you will get better and more confident in your abilities. Of course, this doesn't mean that there aren't some talented people out there that are naturally drawn to certain skills, but that is true for almost everything. And it doesn't keep us from learning or pursuing other things. People learn new skills and languages all the time, for various reasons. But unlike with most skills, the real world benefits and applications of drawing and painting often aren't immediately obvious. What's unique about drawing and painting is that it is not only a skill that you can acquire once you've put in the time and effort, but it's also a process that, in the meantime, is not only fun but also comes with some incredibly positive effects on your life. Which brings us to the second point. Number 2. Enter the flow state. Think about the last time you were so engaged in an activity that you simply lost track of time. It seemed as if there was nothing else on this planet besides you and your activity. Hours felt like minutes and you were so wrapped up in a task that you forgot about everything else. That's what is called the flow state. There are many different activities that help people experience this elusive state of being like running or playing games, but one of the best and easiest ways to enter a flow state is by painting and drawing. While in a flow state, you tend to be highly focused and concentrated. The activity you are engaged with feels rewarding. You have a sense of timelessness and you forget about physical needs and you shut down negative mind wanderings. I mean, what more can you ask for? Usually you get so wrapped up in a task or activity that you don't even notice how you feel until afterward. And then you usually feel fantastic. Self-esteem increases after a flow experience and people who are in a flow state more often have higher self-esteem overall. So as you can see, it helps with all kinds of things. It also helps with productivity and creativity. And it releases dopamine, which is basically another way of saying that it makes you happy. As you can see, engaging in drawing and painting is highly desirable. And the great thing is that to reap all the benefits that come with it, you don't even have to be particularly good at it. You just have to do it. Number 3. It changes how you see and remember things. Whenever you sit down to draw or paint something from real life, you will notice that you start to see things that never before caught your attention. Observing something closely and intimately has a profound effect on not only what we perceive, but also how we perceive it. Research in recent years has found that drawing is highly effective in boosting memory. And from my own experience, I can't begin to tell you how true that is. Humans are visual creatures, meaning that we experience the world firstly and primarily with our eyes. Half our brain is directly or indirectly devoted to processing visual information. When we sit down to draw or paint what we are seeing, what we are effectively doing is taking a visual note of the experience. It's like taking a photo, but not only capturing what you are looking at, 
but also the experience itself. Seeing and experiencing our surroundings this way not only sharpens our attention to detail and makes us more perceptive for things that usually go unnoticed, but it also helps in remembering them. Everyone knows what the Mona Lisa looks like, right? It's the most recognized painting in the world. You have probably seen it in one way or another hundreds of times in your life. But could you confidently describe how it looks like? Can we see her hands on the painting? And if yes, both or just one? What's the color of her dress? Most people would have difficulties answering these questions confidently because while we have seen it hundreds of times before, we haven't taken note of all its elements. In our brain, we only have a fuzzy, blurry image of what the Mona Lisa looks like. And that's really how we perceive and remember most things. But if you were to draw or paint the Mona Lisa just once, I can pretty much guarantee you that you could remember whether or not you can see both of her hands. The moment you start to draw or trace the shape of the figure, you also start to make sense of it. And you automatically take a mental note of all its components, which will ultimately allow you to remember what you've seen to a much greater degree. And this is true in all kinds of situations. If you want to remember a word, for example, let's say that you need to remind yourself to buy eggs. Well, in that case, you are actually better off drawing an egg instead of writing the word down. So next time when you take notes or are brainstorming or making a to-do list, you might want to reach for a sketchbook and a pencil. Because not only is it much more fun than merely writing things down, but it's also much more effective. Number four, you never get bored. Imagine sitting in a cafe and waiting for a friend. You have time to kill and nothing to do. So what are you gonna do? I'm sure some people now are thinking, I can simply pull out my phone and start checking my emails or look at social media. But why not pull out a sketchbook instead and start drawing and painting to pass the time? You've probably already checked your phone a million times that day. Social media, news, etc. So why not pull out a sketchbook and start drawing and painting? By now we already know that this comes with a plethora of positive side effects, but it goes even further than that. We live in a fast-paced world where attention spans get shorter and shorter. People are stressed more easily and more often than ever. But when you lose yourself in the act of drawing or painting, you can take a little break from everything. It's one of the best pastimes you can imagine. And not only that, while you're drawing to pass the time, you're also creating visual journals, which you can always come back to. So whenever you have to wait or feel bored, any situation where your initial instinct would be to reach for your phone, you could also reach for your sketchbook. You have the choice. You could get stressed by work or annoyed by social media by constantly checking your phone or you can have some fun making a grocery list by drawing the things you have to get instead of writing them down. Or you can try yourself at drawing some of the things around you and just unwind for a moment. Number five, it's not about the result, it's about the process. Drawing and painting are skills that will allow you to create things, namely drawings and paintings, presumably works of art. But when you aren't a professional artist and making a living by selling your art, it's not really about the finished product or the result, it's about the process. And even more importantly, about how that process will change you as a person and what it will teach you about yourself. It's about personal growth. You might not become great or even good at drawing or painting. Maybe you don't have the time or the resources, but that's also not the most important part of it anyway. Learning to paint and draw will teach you all kinds of things. How to learn, how to solve problems, how to think outside of the box, how to be efficient and productive. Ultimately, it's about much more than the ability to draw or paint something. The act of painting and drawing in and of itself will frustrate you on some days when things don't go the way you want to, but on other days, it will be the most satisfying experience you can imagine. But either way, it will change you and it will help you grow as a person. And the things you learn along the way will have an impact on many other areas of your life. Drawing and painting are skills, but they are also a great way to start a journey. A journey in which you can learn a bit more about yourself. And who doesn't like a good journey? Guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really excited to announce that if you like this channel and want to support it in more tangible ways, you can do so now by becoming a patron. Because this channel now officially has a patron campaign and it comes with a whole bunch of cool rewards. You not only get a look behind the scenes and a more in-depth look into my thoughts and process, you also get access to a Discord server where you can share your work and ideas with like-minded people and myself. 
You can get your name shouted out in a video or vote on ideas and topics for future videos. Or you can become an artist of the round table. And if you want to find out what that is, check out the link in the description below. My dream for a while now has been to build a small online community of like-minded artists. And your support not only helps the channel, but it's also the first step in making this idea come true. So please consider joining us on Patreon and with that being said, we're gonna bring this video to an end. Thank you all so much for watching guys, please hit like, support us on Patreon and yeah, have a good one.